In this video, I wanted to show you how you can easily change the eye color and also enhance the makeup on a photo. So here's a before and here's an after. So the first thing I want to do is duplicate the background. So right click and choose duplicate layer. And then we can turn that background layer off. And then while you're on your new copy, let's zoom in to about 300. And while we're holding the space bar and dragging our cursor, cursor, or cursor over to the area that we're going to work on, which is the eyes. And the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure we choose the select area tool. I already had it selected. And then we're going to be using a feather of five. And then we want to choose the ellipse tool. And we're going to make a selection around the eyes. And don't worry if it's too big because we're going to be fixing that in a second. And then come and do your other eye. And now switch your selection to the brush. Not the smart brush, but just the regular brush. And also let's turn our feather so that it shows, so that we can see it. And you can pick whatever color you want to use. We can change it to red if you want. And then while holding the Option key down or the Alt, just oops, hit the Undo. Undo. I don't know what happened. Just click and while holding the Option or Alt down, just click and push those edges back so that they're just within the actual eye eyeball not and it doesn't include any of the eyelashes and then hold holding alt down alt or option down come and do the other one And now come over here to the layer and click Adjust Layer. And then we're just going to, we can zoom in here as well. So, And then just grab this little box and move it to the eyes. And then we're just going to change our, drag our brightness so that it's just a little bit lighter. Not too light. You can go darker if you wanted to, but in this case I want to go a little bit lighter. Something like that. And then click OK. And to click the clear selection. And then if you want to see the before and after, come here and turn that layer off, your duplicate. And that's the before. And there's our after. So it wasn't too dramatic. So let's turn that background layer off again. And now let's work on the lips. We're going to change the lip color so that it's more, uh, so that it's a darker pink. So holding down your space bar, click and drag so that now the lips are visible. And then go back to the ellipse tool and Let's use a feather of, let's only use a feather of one this time. And then we can just make these selections like this. Or, this seems to be working. Let's do this. I'll show you a different way after this. So you're just clicking and making these little circles. And it looks odd because we have our feather showing. But once we make, once we're finished, it won't look like this. You'll see. And then come down and do the bottom. We could use the brush to do this, just the way we did the eyes. 
but this seems to be working. It's going fairly quickly. So I'm just going to fast forward here. So I purposely went over the line here because I wanted to show you how we can fix that just like we did with the eyes. So click onto the manual brush and then holding the option key, just come and push that edge, just push it down a bit so that it's a little more uniform. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We have a feather on it, so it'll blend nicely. And the top here looks good. Okay, and then let's go back up to the adjust la adjustment layer. Click on that. And let's zoom in to 300. And click and drag your little box here. And this time we're going to click on Hue, and we're just going to take that red slider and just slide it down a bit. And we don't want to change it too, too much. If you want to change the lightness, we could do that too. Make it lighter, make it darker. That looks good, so click OK. And then click the Clear Selection. And there's our change. And again, if you want to see the before and after, click on your background layer and turn your new layer off. So there's the before, and there's the after. And so let's zoom back out and look at the before and the after. There's the before, and there's the after. And if you wanted to also darken the eyebrows a little bit, we could do that. So let's zoom back in. And holding your space bar and dragging your cursor, drag your canvas to the eyebrows. And we're just going to do the same thing that we did last time. But instead of choosing the, elliptic, the ellipse selection, we're going to choose the brush the manual brush and change your size and then just click and drag and our feather is at three and then just click and drag and if you go over too much hit the option key and just Bump it back up a little bit. And then if you didn't select enough, just let go of the option key and just go over that area again and it'll push it back out. And then do the same thing for this side. And then click the adjustment layer again and zoom into 300. Grab that little box, move up to the eyebrows. And we're going to bring the brightness slider down just a little bit. That's good. Minus seven. And click OK. And then click the clear selection. And that looks good. And let's zoom out and look at the before and after. So there's the after. There's the before. And let me zoom in to about 100. So there's the before. And there's the after. So it's subtle, but it, it looks 
different and it looks really good because it is subtle. You don't want to go too dark. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.